All right, welcome to another video recording here for Maxim DL. This is um, Maxim DL 6.08. It's uh, the newer revision, so it's got a, a few changes in it. And this time around, I'd like to show you how to color combine files. If we open a few files here, um, let's take a look at M57 in uh, three different colors, blue, red, and V. These are photometric filters, so V is greenish. Um, so these are Johnson and Cousins, B, V, and R's. Let's open them up. First thing that we notice is that the images need to be calibrated with dark biases and flat fields. These have already been set up uh, so that they'll calibrate at negative 10 Celsius. And now we have three well-calibrated images, though notice they're not perfectly aligned. And we can go back to the traditional color menu here and say color, combine color, and let it do its job in RGB, allowing resizes and doing a background auto equalize. We notice that the first thing that happens here is that Maxim Deal doesn't recognize V as green, but it does recognize R and B for being red and blue. We have to select V for green, and we also have to perform an automatic alignment here. Do an alignment, I choose auto star matching and just say okay, and off it goes, and it, uh, it does that for you. And then once it's aligned, it will bring back up the color combine menu dialog and allow you to actually perform that combination. Now I'm taking a, a shot in the dark here about how strong each of the channels should be. Uh, red being 100% uh, green, 200% blue at 500%. Well, we'll see if it works, but uh, let's do the, uh, the addition just by clicking on OK. And lo and behold, we've got ourselves a combined color image of the ring nebula that seems to be just a bit too blue, maybe a bit too green and not enough red. But that's okay. You know, it's, it's there, it's color, and from there you can, you can adjust and play with the colors um, as you see fit. We close all of these. A lot of people take many images of an object. Uh, for example, several five-minute shots in red, green, and blue, and then have to combine them later. And Maxim Dale can handle that very nicely. So here's three sets of images, three blues, three greens, three reds of the Ring Nebula. We'll open them all up, which is pretty uh, memory intensive. You may not want to do that, but let's calibrate all of them, take a look at them. See how they look. They all look pretty good. There's some slight shifting from side to side as the tracking was not perfect on these, but it's good for exemplifying what we need to do. We can then do um, it's a really cool thing. You can actually stack them. There's actually this little plus sign here for stack images, or you can go over here and say process stack. And stacking in Maxim DL, I'm going to just delete that. That's from a prior workout. Stacking in Maxim DL not only allows you to add, median, combine images in stacks and thus improve your signal to noise ratio, but it also allows you to do color combinations uh, right off the bat. The most important thing here, though, is to check uh, that we're separating these out by the filters and that we know that luminance is marked as L inside the, uh, inside the, uh, the file, the fit setter. Reds are called R, greens are called V in this case. Very important. If you call green, green, then life is great. If you call red, red, R-E-D, then life is great because that's what Maxim DL defaults do. But if you're doing what many astronomers do and you have UBVRI filters, maybe HA for H-alpha, um, S2 for sulfur, O3 for oxygen, narrow band filters, then you've got to change these headers here and literally you just, you just change them. So if you enter all capitals for green, G-R-E-E-N, in your fit setter, then life is okay, change it. But I need to change it to V because that's what it shows up as in my fit setters. Make sure you say okay. Let's add all the images. Say okay to that and notice that it's got an object out. Blue, green, and red channels have been filled out automatically. We can tell it to use autocorrelation to align, tell it to give uh, the appropriate input levels of one, I'm gonna try one, two, and three here just because I can. Uh, for color, 
Well, maybe maybe one, one, and three. See what it does with the blue. I'm not quite sure what the, the basis will be. And then for combine, I'm going to use um, Sigma Clip, which is really good. It tends to get rid of uh, cosmic ray strikes, hot pixels and things like that. It's not perfect. If you're looking for perfect, you go for median, but then it doesn't really improve your signal to noise ratio, whereas Sigma Clip does. I like to run in uh, IEEE float mode and then export this as a TIFF and work in Photoshop. And just say go. And what it is doing now is making sure that flats, biases, and darks have been dealt with. It then combines them by colors. It does the reds, greens, and blues, and then it creates a master red, green, and blue, and combines them into one master color image for you. Pretty slick. It does this all behind the scenes. And if you think that's cool, I'll show you something really neat as soon as this is done. So here it is the image and it looks like we got the color ratios incorrect but not bad I mean we're close and you can see that we've got a nice image of the ring nebula to play with here now we can make edits as appropriate as needed to get things done now a really cool thing Maxim allows you to do that same combination of stacking without having the files open in memory this saves memory like no tomorrow it's a wonderful thing if you click stack images clean that out by hitting delete. You'll start with an empty screen here in stack. You can add files and it knows nothing is open. It's pretty smart. We'll go down to uh, the desktop here and we'll open up our images that we had for M57. We'll take three sets. Here's the first set, the second set, and the third set and we'll say open. Pretty slick, huh? It automatically separates them all out appropriately by red, green, and blue. We know that uh, we're going to do a, a color autocorrelation. This time I'm going to do auto star matching. And we're going to change this to uh, 1, 1, and 1.7 or something like that for blue. I'm just playing with the color here as we go. And then uh, Sigma Clip, IEEE Float ignore black pixels etc and just say go and look what it does it actually does it for us which is really quite cool and it does it all inside memory without having those files open which is also cool this is a really nice feature if you happen to have hundreds of images you've been working on something very faint like say the horsehead nebula where you've taken I don't know, several hundred five-minute integrations and you need to stack them all. It's really not going to be happy if you try to open all those at once into memory um, and MaxMDL will just work off the hard drive. It's a nice feature. And there we have it. Our color combined image of the Ring Nebula, this time working completely out of memory. And it looks like uh, <laughs> it actually looks like the the blue one out a little bit too much there, but that's okay. We're not going to worry about the color uh, levels for the uh, purposes of this exercise. All right, so that's that's it. That's Maxim DL's new version six color com combining and stacking ability. Pretty uh, pretty smooth stuff. Thank you for watching.